Wayne Choir. Hey guys, this is Fisk, and today I'm bringing you another video. Now today I have a really cool filter that for MC Edit that I would like to show you guys. Uh, I made this really quick, and uh, it doesn't do a lot, a whole lot yet. But as you might have read from the title, uh, it's called Block Gravity. Now, if you're a map maker and you do a lot of cool stuff then you might know it's a pain in the butt to set up all command blocks for example if you want to spawn uh, falling sand over a larger region uh, I came across that once and that's what inspired me to make this so what it allows you to do is it allows you to just you know create a structure uh, it doesn't have to be in the air it can be on the ground it can be however you like. Uh, we're just gonna make a real small one here just for testers and uh, so this filter for MC8 it does all that thing all those things for you so if we were to make a quick thingy here this is not for looks it's just yeah you know, to show you how it works uh, this does not work with the um, with blocks that uh, I don't think it works with blocks that are more than one like for example beds though I haven't really tested it uh, so if we were to put let's see what more do we want uh, we can put glass and glass and more glass and yeah that's fine now what this will do is it will yeah it'll do all that dirty work for you so if we go ahead and head into MC edit I will load up the filter and be right back alright guys so here we are in MC edit I'm really sorry if it's laggy I know uh, uh, so the first thing that you would do when you have installed this filter is to select the region that you want to you know that you want to create falling scent of or well apply block gravity to uh, it do, you, you don't need to have it as tight as this because it will disclude air blocks automatically so it doesn't really matter uh, so first thing you would need to do is select the region that you want to make uh, like apply gravity to so if we select the filter block gravity you'll see that here are a bunch of stuff so there's uh, in the positioning there's two alternatives the relative and absolute now relative uh, what that will do is oh my god that lag relative what that will do is wherever you select your command block region it will um, use tildes so that you know if you move the big chunk of command blocks it will also move the region where it will apply gravity to blocks now if it's absolute then it will no matter what use these coordinates even if you move that so it gives you a bit of customization uh, so yeah, and another thing you can do is apply motion tags. So, uh, it, for example, uh, let's see, 1.0. Uh, that will make the, the Z motion 1.0. Uh, so we need to make sure that we have set structure region checked right there. So if we hit filter, it will now use this for our skidoodling. So now what we need to do is select a command block region. Now I'm going to um, to on purpose select a too small region. So if we hit filter and do build command blocks, 
and uncheck that box. Filter. And it says exception during filter operation. See console for details. There are 48 blocks in the destination selection, but only space for 30 command blocks in this selection. You need about 1.6 times as much space. Alright, so if we increase this... Ugh, lag. Why are you making this so hard on me? Alright. Oh! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm mean. I'm blaming lag. Now that we have a bigger selection, we should filter. Now we try this again. Now what this will do is create a big blob of command blocks. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so now we can just hit save. And we can head back into our game. Alright, so now that we are back in our game, we can see that obviously this structure is still there but there's a new one it created this big command block thing uh, now I'm a bit uncertain to why it created so much extra stone here uh, it might have been because of the region I selected oh well anyways so um, it will it will create this uh, little thing, and this was heavily inspired by Seth Bling's uh, set block structure. And yeah, so if you give this green wool block an input, what it will do is it will create falling sand entities with these block textures at these blocks' positions. Now. If I may say so myself, this works best uh, in the um, latest snapshots where you have the fill command. Because what I would do is I would hook up another command block to this uh, green uh, wool that would fill this area with with air when when you activate that. Otherwise, it will look like this. Yeah, as you saw there, it went flying everywhere. Now, another thing that is good to take note is game rule, command block output, false. Otherwise, it will spam up your chat like that. So, um, as you saw, it went flying everywhere. Now, this would not have happened if it weren't for uh, the X motion that we applied if you remember that. So if we head this direction you can see that this is towards positive x. Now you can do exactly the same thing with uh, with y motion to make them fly upwards and negative y motion for vice versa. Now like I said earlier this works best in the latest snapshots where you have the fill commands but if we now do this, a flying house. That's really cool. So, like, uh, if you have any suggestions for this filter, make sure to tell me in the comments. And do take note that this was my first filter. And as you see, some of the falling sand entities broke and created all this. Uh, I might add an option to disable uh, the drops because that's something that not people want. Anyways, I really do hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to leave a rating and subscribe. Leaving a like is always appreciated. Subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.